Hello everyone, it's uh, Matt here from Prepared UK and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this ingenious little device. It is a pot stand converter for a jet boil cooking stove. Not just any jet boil cooking stove, but all of the jet boil cooking stoves. For example, this is a uh, quite an old jet boil zip and fits on quite neatly, attaches really sturdily and get a pan on there, no problem. The newer jet boil mini roll has these little cutouts in the side of the burner ring which locates the pot stand and gives you an even stronger foundation. That's not to say that the connection to the zip is not sturdy, that's just to say that the connection to the minimo is better. What it allows you to do is it allows you to take one of Jetboil's PCS systems and turn it into a more traditional style camping stove. Inside the Jetboil you've got all the usual Jetboil paraphernalia and included in there is the burner unit. Now, these jet boil systems are absolutely fantastic as a standalone item for boiling water, uh, for making refreshments, or for heating through MREs, or boiling water for uh, reconstituting dehydrated food. It's all in the name, isn't it? It's designed to boil water quickly and efficiently. And up to now, pretty much, that's all it did. Now, what you can do is you can capitalise on all the great features of the jet boil, but now you have the flexibility to be able to cook using a traditional pan. If you wanted to heat a large quantity of water for a group of people, site camping for example, I think this is one of the features about it that makes it really agreeable is if you don't have a lot of room, you don't have a lot, a lot of money, you don't have a lot of truck with having a different stove for every day of the week then what this enables you to do is have your cooking system that you like but it gives you a little bit of flexibility to get away from just cooking for one. So like I said if you go site camping with some friends, family, with the kids you can use your jet boil to boil a kettle full of water, although this kettle is probably on about the outer limits of what you could do size-wise. You could fry uh, an egg, yeah, or do a more traditionally cooked meal for one. Uh, camping in a, a little pan like that, absolutely fantastic. You could do a larger meal for family and friends, again car camping, site camping, if there is a spare pan uh, that needs to be heated up um, you can now do that. The one thing I would say is the jet boil focuses its flame like this. Whereas a traditional pot camping stove would do the flame like this, so it heated a large area at the base of the pan. Now, with a jet boil, there's a sweet spot where the flame strikes here, and then all the residual flame gets bounced off the bottom of the pot into the flux ring. The flux ring gets hot and heats a massive area at the bottom of the pot. With this, if you were to try to do a fried meal, you'd really struggle because what you will get is a hot spot in the bottom of the pan and you won't get a lot of transmission outwards. So the stuff in the centre of the pan is going to get really hot and potentially burn and the stuff on the outside of the pan is going to stay cold. I've just pulled these pans out of uh, my family's uh, camping cooking set. Um, uh, it's a cheap aluminium pan. If you had a copper-bottomed pan, or Providence gave you the opportunity to heat a copper-bottomed pan 
for fraying, it would work a treat because you're going to get that transmission of heat. And my only reservation about this little fella is, again, for fraying, you're going to get a very, very narrow spot of heat on the bottom of the pan and not a lot of radiation throughout the bottom of the pan. If you wanted to do a pan of pasta, you're laughing, yeah? Much more pasta than you could do there because you can now use any size of pot that you want to. What I do like about this is once you've finished with it, you can return the unit as you would do normally. Standard setup, jet boil flash, burner unit in the bottom, gas canister sits on top. Now, see, and it even holds the gas canister in place because the ring on the top fits around the collar on the gas canister. Pot stand goes in as well, still got room for a few brews, brews in the top. There you go. For £10, it's a pretty innocuous thing to have in your jet pile. It gives you huge versatility. It's a really good investment. There is the frying pan limitation, but hey, not everything does everything all of the time. Yeah? I think, like I said, just said then, for £10 to just keep in your jet pile to give you the versatility to be able to switch from being a PCS to being a more traditional camping stove is well worth it, especially as it weighs virtually nothing and takes up virtually no room in your PCS cup. So there you go. The jet boil uh, pot stand for the range of jet boil burners um, from Matt from Prepared UK. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye bye.